I'm Lorena Vargas, physical therapist. In this video, we're going to learn some exercises that parents can do at home when your baby has been diagnosed with torticollis by a healthcare professional. Also, if you notice that your baby has a preference to have their head tilted or rotated to one side, and it's very difficult for them to rotate or visually track a toy rotating their head to the other side. Also, if you notice when they're laying on their belly, that they have a preference to have their head rotated to one side, and even if they're three, four, five months old, it's very difficult for them to lift their head up and rotate it to the other side. At three months of age, babies start being more alert and aware of their environment and they start being more oriented in midline or the center of the body. So instead of being wide open here because of gravity, they start bringing both hands together to midline or to their mouths. So for example, if your baby has their head rotated to one side, it's very hard for them to be able to bring both hands to midline because they cannot see it. But instead, they're going to start grabbing toys with this hand. So you're going to place their head in midline, looking at you, and you're going to bring both hands together and you're going to help them grab a toy right here. And you can play with them or you can make them touch your face or you can sing a song and just clap with their hands in midline. This exercise of playing in midline is going to help your baby to activate the neck muscles and the abdominals that are so important later on when the baby needs to sit down and have that balance between the abdominals and the muscles in the back. Another exercise that you can do with your baby is help them to track a toy with their eyes or follow your voice. So you can help them or assist them with one hand in their face, their head, and help them to follow the toy or your voice. Another exercise that you can do with your baby is help them play when they're laying on their side. So you can help the baby to grab a toy and to follow it with their eyes or follow your voice, and you're going to help them from the head to rotate the head to the other side, and you can also provide some help in the pelvis. So you can put the hand right here so it doesn't get stuck under the baby's trunk, and you can also put a pillow or a towel or your own leg right here so the baby doesn't roll back. If your baby is three, four, or five months old, instead of putting them on their belly to play, help them to transition from their back to their belly. And of course, they're going to have a preference to do it on one side because it's going to be easier, but it's always a good exercise to do it on both sides so they don't develop asymmetries later on. So like we did in the exercise before, the baby can track a toy with their eyes or your voice, and you're going to help the baby to rotate their head to one side, and with your other hand, you're going to help the pelvis. Be careful with this arm so it doesn't get stuck under the baby's trunk. So you can move this arm up, and with this hand, I'm going to help lift their head up and with this one, I'm going to guide the pelvis. So finally, the baby comes right here on their belly. When the babies are on their belly, sometimes it's difficult for them to lift the head up. So you can help with these two fingers right here. And with these other fingers, you can stabilize or give more support to the shoulders. I can place my hands right here in the shoulders and these two fingers in the head to provide more support. For example, if the baby cannot lift the head up because uh, they have the arms up here 
or down and they don't know what to do with the arms, you can guide them to put some weight on their arms. And the way you're going to do that is bringing their elbows under the shoulders so they both are aligned. So instead of being here, that it's more difficult for me to lift the head up if I'm right here, I'm bringing the elbows under the shoulders so it's easier for the baby to lift the head up. And then I can provide that support in the head and the shoulders. Another way to do tummy time is using one of these balls. If you don't have one at home, it's okay. You can still do it on your bed or a firm surface. Please make sure to stabilize the ball with both of your legs. So for example, here, I can perform the exercises that we saw before, and I can provide that support to the baby's shoulders. And at five months, babies start pushing up on their hands, extending their elbows. So I can also help the baby go and push up a little bit and extend the elbows right there. Also at five months of age, they start reaching for toys because they're more stable in their shoulders and the back muscles, neck muscles are stronger. So I can provide support on one side of the body. And if someone else is helping me here to show a toy, I can help to lift this arm and grab the toy. So I'm transferring the weight to one side to be able to lift the other side and grab the toy. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to perform these exercises with your baby at home. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns about your baby's moral development or if you want to share your experience when doing these exercises. Please consult with your physician or a physical therapist to provide more guidance and to check the necessity of doing these exercises at home.